The biggest leaders and CEO was on the Hill today. Uh, all of the essential uh, capabilities to advance AI, and they have. They've made enormous progress in the last several years. Uh, whatever, whatever policy uh, the administration, administration puts together really should enable us to accelerate. Jensen Wang announced a massive message to the entire world, and we heard him loud and clear. China should be taken seriously because a war is here. No, not a war with tanks and fighter jets. It's more tech-related because the AI war is getting more serious than ever. China is on par with the US, said the CEO of NVIDIA Corporation, though he didn't directly mention AGI. What he said was pretty intense. And he isn't wrong. China's progress is exponential, and if you saw our other video about the leaked ex-OpenAI report about how AGI could be here as soon as 2027, you'd understand how quickly this can actually come to fruition. That said, Huang's words shed light on other things that have been going on, like NVIDIA's $500 billion investment into AI resources. What is it for? And will it be of any use in the first place? And just to be clear, the question asked of NVIDIA's CEO was how far behind China is in this race. Huang had to correct the journalist and say that China is not behind and in fact on par with America. That's a pretty big thing to say about their competitors in the global market. See, China is getting help from one of the biggest corporations in the world, such as Huawei. Wang said that Huawei is one of the most formidable tech companies ever, and everything they manufacture is aimed at Chinese clients. Just to recap, what are some of the achievements and progress that Huawei have made over the years? For starters, Huawei is preparing to mass ship its advanced Ascend 910C AI chip to Chinese customers. This beast will rival NVIDIA's top AI chips like the H100. The upcoming Ascent 910D, on the other hand, will be on a completely different level. They're also playing a huge role in filling in the gaps of the US trade blocks. More on that later, of course. Huawei also launched the industry's first AI core network, which has boosted efficiency by 30%. Oh, it even reduced energy consumption by 20%, which is a very sensitive topic in the AI industry. The company's helping hand in this AI chip situation is turning out to be very beneficial for China. Why? Well, this thing is going to substitute chips manufactured in America. But how special can Chinese hardware really be? Because the last thing people have heard is that Amazon is working on their own chip that will change the game completely if they play their cards right. They're calling them the Tranium and Inferentia families, and as cool as their names sound, they're just as lethal. In a nutshell, they're going to revolutionize the AI industry because they cost a lot less to make. But let's not assume that Amazon will single-handedly beat China. Wang said that China is aggressively investing in AI infrastructure. What is America doing to fight back? NVIDIA is targeting the deployment of over 200 petaflops of AI computing power by 2025 through numerous partnerships. America's so-called new infrastructure policy supports a 20% annual growth in AI computing capacity. Yeah, the government is meddling with AI development too. This can be both good and bad, but in all honesty, the researchers and scientists are doing most of the work. Did Wang say anything about that? According to the NVIDIA CEO, 50% of the world's AI researchers are Chinese. It's felt like a low blow because he just told America that they have people from China making their AI development shine the brightest. In other news, China has allocated around $15 billion for AI chip research and development. It's trying to reduce its reliance on foreign semiconductor technology by 50% by 2025. But why the sudden need to not work with semiconductors? So, these chips were usually led by US exports, especially the high-end ones. Tensions with tariffs and a lot of political unrest mean that this equipment will quite literally choke China's AI goals. In other words, they'll have very limited access to the hardware needed for next-generation AI systems. By making their own AI chips and memory, like high-bandwidth memory for generative AI, China can continue scaling and developing their technology 
without being vulnerable to things like tariffs and trade blocks. After all, some of these blocks have led to around $5.5 billion worth of damage. China simply found it impossible to develop its AI framework with these restrictions. And mind you, the country is already working super hard on manufacturing its own hardware. The Big Fund 3, for example, invested $47.5 billion in this goal. Huawei and Changjin are already supporting the gap in AI chip design too. All of this is part of the grand scheme of things. They're goals that need to be achieved between 2030 and 2035. Anyway, other firms like Baidu are developing AI chips with energy efficiency comparable to Nvidia's top GPUs already. They're firing on all cylinders. Now, the question is, are any of these initiatives effective? Well, China has overtaken the US in AI patent filings since 2021, with over 150,000 AI-related patents filed in 2023 alone. Maybe manufacturing local chips is the right move. China plans to hit $150 billion in the global AI chip market by 2030 and wants to capture 30%. As of yet, NVIDIA dominates the AI hardware market, specifically in data center GPUs for AI training. It holds about 90 to 92% market share in this segment alone. AMD is a close second with a smaller but growing market share of around 4% in 2024, which went up from 3% in 2023. AMD's MI300 series competes with NVIDIA's chips and cost effectiveness. AMD CEO Lisa Su said that they have made outstanding progress building the foundational product, technology and customer relationships needed to capture a meaningful portion of this market. They scaled their data center AI franchise for more than $5 billion of revenue in 2024 to tens of billions of dollars of annual revenue over the next few years. Once again, this AI race thing is all about the best performance with manageable prices. So, in that case, is Amazon ahead of the curve? Clearly, every company is putting its own fair share of work. But as far as the hardware is concerned, there is a completely different group of companies strapping their boots and getting ready for the race. Some are falling behind as well. Take a look at Intel, which lags behind both Nvidia and AMD in AI GPUs. Yes, Intel. There's probably an Intel sticker on the laptop you're using to watch this video at this very moment. Intel has been declining in revenues for quite some time. Its gross margins and valuation are much lower than Nvidia's. It's even struggling to meet AI GPU sales targets. Now there are emerging startups like Grok, Positron AI and Samba Nova that show a little bit of potential. These are focusing on AI interference workloads to compete with Nvidia's dominance. Is it of any use though? NVIDIA's GPUs are widely regarded as the fastest and most efficient for AI training and inference, backed by the mature CUDA software ecosystem that boosts AI development. Yeah, I know, there are way too many names popping out of nowhere. So what about the companies the majority of the public is familiar with? In 2025, NVIDIA launched the Llama Nematron family of open reasoning AI models built on Meta's Llama models. This new sheriff in town is much more enhanced and advanced in post-training techniques. It boosted accuracy by 20% and improved interference speed by five times. In other words, that's one point for NVIDIA and one taken away from Meta. OpenAI, on the other hand, remains a benchmark leader in AI model quality. GPT is pretty much at the fingertips of every single person on this earth. From students to world leaders, I'm pretty sure you won't encounter a single person who doesn't use GPT at least once a day in their work lives. As for Meta, well let's just say they're losing a lot, both in performance and revenue. But all of this is America competing with its own AI systems. What about China versus the US? Well, in early 2024, top US models outperformed Chinese models by 103 points on LM Swiss's chatbot arena. By February 2025, the gap narrowed to just 23 points. Props to DeepSeek R1.
Sure, OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Gemini lead in multimodal and complex reasoning, but remember when DeepSeek blew up the internet? Everyone was talking about it, and now Bachuan is joining the race and catching up to America's top dogs really fast. The current stats and overview make it look like the US is far ahead. All of you thought Alibaba was some online thrift store, right? Well, it's got its own AI called Quen now. The country is catching up to America all while using fewer resources and targeting domestic and regional markets. People think that this isn't a war between America and China, rather American Chinese and local Chinese researchers, which kind of makes sense given Huang's statements, right? Some think that the US has the wrong game plan in competition. The Chinese are focusing on improving and scaling, right? Meanwhile, America is too busy focusing on preventing the Chinese from improving. One runner is running to win, while the other is thinking about how to trip him, don't you think? What do you think? Will China surpass America or fall behind in a few years? Let me know in the comments below. As always, leave a like and hit that subscribe button to see more content. Also, check out our video from an ex-OpenAI insider that goes into detail with other ex-AI lab insiders on their best guess when AGI will rear its ugly head. With that said, see you in the next video.